since certain planets have gone direct which are going to have a very strong impact in our life it's very important to take the month of november very deliberately in our hands and not uh, um, go impulsively like a wild stallion but we need to strategize we need to know that greed can never be fulfilled but your needs can so base your needs and your desires in a very nice balanced way don't get into the greed of things don't be impulsive scorpio 2018 november 2018 for you well ambitions are still strong until the 22nd but after that the balance of planetary power is decisively below the horizon you are in a new era now presumably the career goals have been attained or are on the way to attainment now you want some of the fruits of the career success a sense of having a home base a happy life the right feelings nurturing and the like you want the emotional happiness the respect in the home and with family members that career success should bring along now this is not an easy thing to accomplish this month but you can at least see the beginning of it these issues will get much better after the 21st when uranus your family planet starts moving forward in tandem with venus after many months of retrograde motion things continue to go your way you as you will remain strong decisive and clear you will know your mind and the direction you are going in forward progress is um, in your life is rapid as 80 to 90 percent of the planets are moving forward this month like last month push towards your goals especially those that involve personal fulfillment and personal circumstances the same financial conflict that seemed last month will still remain in effect this month but these will dissipate by the 19th november onwards from 19th onwards you will be in one of the best financial periods of your year not your life but of your year jupiter will be elevated and receives beautiful aspects from the 30 percent of the planets you will have to uh, figure out or you would have figured out that there is no contradiction between success and money you will opt for both you don't have to think it's either success or money both will come to you and both are important though career is less important these days it soars nevertheless now um, uh, more pay rises promotions honors and the like are coming your way some of you might get elected to a high office in a community or civic organization you belong to this usually happens under these fruit fruitious or uh, beautiful aspects career and financial goals goals devote um, dovetail beautifully each help the other so your career and financial goals are going side by side your good reputation and professional status brings more money your earnings elevate your status this is a circle of a feel good factor assets you already own increase in value you will be dressing better and you will have a fantastic personality in fact giving an overhaul to your personality is recommended you must invest in yourself either image wise or in your education both are good investments now the interesting thing is that all of this is happening with most of the planets below the horizon you have outer success but your yearn for inner harmony definitely will remain love is still complicated under the 20 um, until the 21st it's not that your beloved doesn't love or care for you but he or she is thinking about his or her own role in your life so though ambivalent he or she is still very much on your side after the 21st you'll probably um, have more clarity about your relationship this is a month of financial growth and sensual pleasure so you must enjoy it and uh, make the maximum of this fruitious period 
and of course for your best days, stressful days, your days of love and your money, you'll have to visit my website. The predictions that I give for the zodiac monthly signs are all very generalized. I repeat that they definitely give you a guideline of what you should do. So you should look into the predictions of your solar as well as your lunar signs. But of course, to be very categoric, it's very important for you to know your natal chart and the transit planets that are affecting you personally. So getting your personalized natal chart and your yearly chart is just not wastage of money. In fact, it is like planning your diary of life. More often than not, I have actually seen that people do tend to analyze and realize and take a lot of caution while getting their natal and their personalized chart made or their yearly charts made thinking that probably we are wasting time give it a small little thought when we go out in the market we tend to buy diaries that need to be fulfilled or uh, of the next year that these are the diaries that i require where i jot down my thoughts think about it that when you get the diary of your life on how you can guide yourself and what you can do monthly wise that will make your productive levels very very high very useful so spending on your diaries very fruitful but spending on your yearly chart very useful